So as you guys saw in the intro, that's exactly what we're going to make in this video today. So yeah, let's get started. I've already prepared my clips uh, like I usually do. And if you want to learn how to Twixer and stuff like that, what I did here, you can click on the top right corner. Um, but yeah, let's get started for now. Like you saw in the preview, I want to do slides to the right for this one. I've already added motion tile to every clip, so make sure to do that. Then since, you know, you don't want to show too much motion tile, but it is there to help a little. I'm going to zoom in a little first because I'm not going to do any skills on this. I'm just going to do slides. So that's why I'm going to scale in a bit first. I'm simply just going to start somewhere, I don't know, right here. Um, and I'm going to keyframe the exposition. Going to go over here. Do something like this maybe. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to put that all the way at the end. Select both keyframes. Press F9 on your keyboard. Click on here to open up the graph editor. Then over here, I'm just going to select the exposition. You want to make sure it's set on value graph and not speed graph. I'm just going to do a simple graph like this. Now, as you can see, it's not really showing any motion tile. So I'm just going to up the value a little. I think this amount of motion tile or a little bit more is usually nice because then you don't notice it that much, but it still helps. Now for the second clip, we're gonna kind of do the same. Press S on your keyboard to scale in a little. Press P on your keyboard, separate the dimensions, keyframe the exposition, go all the way to the end of your clip, put a, another keyframe and just do, you know, something like this with kind of just this amount of motion tile is fine. Then select both keyframes, press F9, open up the graph editor, value graph, then do a graph something like this. But first I'm gonna explain something. This clip is about one and a half second long. So that's why this graph is very tight. These dots are very close to each other. But let's say the clip would be this length over here. Then you can make the graph a little bit less uh, tight. So a little bit less sharp. You know, put these two dots a little bit further away or else it's too um, stiff and that becomes ugly. So this would be fine if the clip was that long. But since the clip is way longer, the graph should be maybe something like this. And if that it's a little bit too tight, then you can mess around with the graphs. Anyways, maybe you can make this one a little bit faster, but at the end a little bit longer. So there's more movement throughout the whole clip. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm going to add a null. And you can do that if you go to layer, new, add a null object. Then I'm going to cut this so that it's the same length as your layer. You want to parent this to uh, this clip to the null with this thing over here. Then we're going to press P, separate the dimensions, go maybe like half or like a quarter, put a keyframe over here and just do the same type of transition. So press F9, graph editor and a graph something like this. So now your clip will look like this. And since you added two of these movements, keyframes, these two like positions overlap each other, which means there's movement throughout the whole clip and it doesn't become stiff. And then now for the last clip is actually the same as this one over here. So you're just going to zoom in a little, separate the dimensions, keyframe the exposition, go a little bit to the left, go to the end, reset the value, press F9, open up the graph editor, and once again, do a graph something like this. And if you think all of this is a little bit too stiff or too smooth, like I said, you can always change these graphs a little. I think I'm going to change this one a little. So there's a little bit more movement. And yeah, now that's kind of all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial for the basics and stuff. And um, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and check out my other tutorials as well. And I'll see you next time. So have a good day.